Hello, it's Technology Central here, and welcome to the final video in our six part tutorial series on how to use Google Sheets. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to sort and to filter your data. This is useful when you have large amounts of data that you either need to sort into ascending order or filter to only view a small proportion of it. Let's get started by looking at how to sort your data. I'm going to sort this set of data alphabetically based on the person's name. Start by selecting all of the data. To select entire columns, click on the column titles and drag across like so. Now come to data and click sort range. If your data has a header row, like ours does here, select this checkbox so that the header row isn't included in the sorted data. Now come to sort by and choose the column that you want to sort. We have name, age and country. We want to sort by name. We want it to be in ascending order. So leave it in the A to Z form and click sort. And as you can see, our data has been sorted into ascending order. Now let's do the sort based on someone's age. Again, select all of our data, come to data, sort range, select that the data has a header row and choose age and click sort. And as you can see, we have our data in ascending order based on that age. We can see we have multiple people with the same age. When we do our sort, we can apply a second sorting condition. So Google Sheets knows how to sort the people within this block of data. We're going to do the sort again, but this time tell Google Sheets to sort based on the country. So I'm going to undo, come to data, sort range, data has a header row and sort by age. But this time add another sort column and we're then going to sort by country and we're going to have the country in descending order. So starting from Z and ending at A and click sort. And as we can see, we have three people of age 19 and we've now sorted them based on their country in descending order. Now let's have a look at filtering our data. Filtering our data reduces the amount of data shown. It'll reduce it to only a set of values that fit a certain criteria. Select our data, come to data, create a filter. We now have a filter that applies to these three columns. When we filter one of them, it will filter all three. We can see the filters by these three bars that appear in the heading of each of those three columns. First, we're going to filter by country. Let's find anyone who lives in the United States. Come to these three bars and click on them. We want to filter by value. Initially, all of the possible values are selected. We're going to clear this by clicking the clear button. If you want to select them all again, come to select all. Let's clear them and now choose the specific value we want to filter on, which is the United States. Select it, then click OK. And as you can see, we've now filtered our data to only leave us with this one person who lives in the United States. Let's undo that. And now let's create a slightly more complex filter. This time we're going to filter based on age. And we only want to find people who are in the age range of 60 to 70 years old. We're going to click on these three bars. And this time we're going to filter by condition. The condition is initially none. Click on that and come down to is between. This is because we want to filter the value on the condition that is between 60 and 70. For different conditions, choose the appropriate option here. Now we enter our first value, which is going to be 60, and our second value, which is 70. 
and click OK. Now we can see that we've got all of the people who are aged between 60 and 70. That's it for this tutorial and that's the end of this series. I hope you found it useful. If you have, make sure you leave a like, subscribe and leave us a comment. And if you haven't seen all of the other videos in this tutorial series, go and check them out now. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye.